there's still a lot to do, but I got from student to freelancer to small agency owner. And I am proud to say that this year will probably scratch $700,000 in revenue. And then next year, if all the stars align, we will cross that magical boundary of $1 million in revenue. Now, it's important to know that when you talk revenue, you don't talk profit. That's why I want to make sure that what I'm saying does not make you believe that revenue is more important than profit. You can make a million dollars in revenue, but make no profit. It is way more important and also impressive to me if you make a very high profit with little revenue and then you slowly grow your business in a way where it makes sense. Just moving around large numbers of money is not impressive at all and it's not what business is about. But that's really not the topic of this conversation. What I want to share with you today is the two items that were most helpful to me in getting where I am right now. All right, let's start with the first thing. It's so important that you learn to talk about your business, to talk about your service, to talk about your products. It's so important that you become confident in telling the world what it is that you do and why you think you should be compensated for it. It is important to never stop doing so. Whether you are a freelancer or a CEO with a large team, what you need to be able to is use the method of communication that is most prevalent at the time and flood it with information that gets your future clients interested in you in a non-salesy way, in a way where you build rapport with your future clients by providing helpful and relevant content. I want to help you with that by giving you re uh, tips about that, but also by inviting you to the socialmediacontentmaster.com program. Go there and check it out. I have a few solutions for you. This the second item that is extremely important is community. Community is largely important because you can go there to find like-minded people and discuss about the problems that you have while you grow your business. You will quickly find that within your circle that you have had so far, your friends and relatives, you will find a lot of naysayers and people who don't understand what you're doing. And that is not because they don't want you to succeed. It is because they don't know how they can help you succeed. And what they're trying to do innately is protect you from risk. And to them, that means telling you that you can't do it, telling you that it's crazy, telling you that you should take the easy route, telling you that you should take the safe route. And that's typically not how business works, which is why you need a community of people who have been exposed to calculated risk taking in business. Furthermore, in your community, you should find a mentor. You can have one mentor or several mentors that help you when you have these questions pertaining to your business that really only someone can answer that has been there or that is further away in their entrepreneurial journey as you are. Can that be resolved on your own? Yes, but it will take you a lot more time. During every step of the way, I have always had someone guide me, I have always had mentors, and I will always have mentors. I will always pay for mentors because the money I invest in them guiding me and coaching me is absolutely huge 
important and gives me a great return on investment. Talking again about my social media contentmaster.com community that I have under the umbrella of the Shanks Academy, these two vital steps, these two vital components of successful business ownership are covered by that social media contentmaster.com program. I will teach you how to be visible online, how to converse in ways with your target audience that is edifying and relevant to your audience. But I will also have weekly mastermind calls where we and other people in the group discuss the problems of business ownerships. And we will always try to find a way to solve and to move further. Now, if this video was uh, somewhat helpful to you, then please uh, like it, consider subscribing. And if you have any other questions, comments, suggestions, please do let me know.